and this is my mum Kim. We're from Wild Kindling. Today we'll be making paintbrushes, nature paintbrushes and magic wands. Which is going to be really fun and we'll show you how to make them. We are, what we love about making this stuff is that we can paint and we can have fun while we paint. And when you're out in nature, show us what you can make. You can make these types of stuff. It's great, and isn't we, it, with these types of different paint brushes yeah. or different plants, you can make different textures. So here's one that we've done earlier and it's yeah. got all different types of spots and, and paint. Yeah, that you wouldn't get from a normal paintbrush, so that's what we love about doing that. Yeah, we love and making like different types of patterns, don't we? Yeah, you love painting as well, you're always painting. Yep. And this is the equipment that we all want. And you can do some different things, you can either leave your sticks plain, so we've just got some from the trees that we've been pruning or some places in the neighbourhood. Um, some we have painted different colours, so you can choose different colours or different patterns that you want. And the other one that we did is we wrapped cotton around and around and around and around a stick. And so you've got how a nice... did we do it? We used a special machine. So if Could you've got some... Cumi curator that I got for my birthday. Yeah, it makes it nice and easy. Yeah, but you can also just do it with your hand if you want to. So Yeah, but it just means it will be a little bit harder. Bit or like, might take a bit longer. Yeah, it depends what you want to do. So where, which one would you like to do? I know, which this one. You're going to do that one? And which brush have you chosen? I have chosen... Well, I'm wondering, what type of patterns will these two make? We'll I wonder which out. ones I want to do out of those. Mm. Which ones do you think will make the better patterns? Well, it depends what you want. I, I, like, I like all of them. Which would you like to stick That's on there? Right. So, what you can do is you can use a few different things to stick. You can use... We've just got these tiny little hair bands that the girls use. You could use some, just some string or some cotton to tie it round, or if you wanted to use some, some people have the picture frame wire that you could use. Again, whatever you've got in your home. I find it nice and easy using these hairbands depending on which leaf you're going to do. So this one, that's going to be a little bit trickier. What we might need to do to tie this one on is just do a little bit on the side. So if you hold that together and hold that there, we're going to get some string for this one. To show you how it's doing without hair bands. And then we're also going to see how it goes for what. So if you hold it up so people can see, okay. we're just going to maybe tie that on first. Just do like a double knot. So it's nice and tight. Oh, it's a bit tricky. Yeah, a little bit tricky. So you might need someone to help you. And it's good just being with someone and doing this stuff. It is, isn't it? It's always nice to do but it. But it's not bad when you're lost and you have to do stuff. No, and then what you can do is just twist, twist, twist. But why do we twist it and not cut it off? Well, if we twist it around a few more times, it's going to stay. If we just put it on one time, mm -hmm. it might fall off when we use it. And with this one I'm using, when you twist it, it gets a different pattern at the top. It will get a different pattern at the top. And it looks like a scarecrow kind of. So that's one. So okay. I'll show you another way. If you were to use something like this, I'm just going to stick it onto the end of my stick and I'm going to use a green hairband for this. So all you need to do is get the edge, hold the little stick at the end, twist, 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 and, and look, just like that we have okay. made two nature paintbrushes. Just so easy and you can dip them in paint and make it artwork. Yeah, so this one, what we've got, you can see that we've done a little bit of playing already when we made this painting. Yeah. And you've got the end here, so you can, it's got some yellow on it already. That you must have been... We should show them? I 
thing. So, but what you can do once you've used it, if you don't want to do yellow the next time, you can just chop the top off, and then you've got like a brand new paintbrush. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got one, two, three, and we've got another paintbrush here. Four. We're going to make a special painting to show you how they work. Mm -hmm. See all of the lovely different patterns and the swirls and, and this like plot bit like a normal paintbrush. That one was like weird. It made me surprised. Like when we painted this flat thing and it looks exactly like a normal paintbrush. Mm, so it's amazing mm -hmm. how nature can do that. Alright, so we'll just pop that aside. And now what do we think we're gonna do? Well, we can make a fairy wand. Wow. So fairy. nice and simple again. What do we need? A stick. A stick. Okay. And some ribbons. Some or ribbons. anything that, like, let's say, that can go onto a stick, like a leaf, or, or anything that can at least go on a stick. Yep. That, and we like using ribbon because it like flies, like kind of mm -hmm. like a dream catcher. Yeah, you could even and put some leaves on it. stuff. Like catch and yeah. abracadabra. It's like a mixing potion. Oh, oh, it could be anything you want. It's a magic <laughs> wand. <laughs> so, we need a I stick. I, I can turn stuff into magic. Okay. So, it's, there's a nice easy way to get our ribbons onto our stick. Is that if you hold it like this, put your finger through. And does it have to be even? You hold that on the end. Yeah. And you put it over the stick. Hold it up so people can see. And then see where your fingers do the loop. Put your finger and thumb through the loop and grab the rest of it and pull it through. Should we do that again? Yeah. Which colour next? Pink? Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't have to be even as Claire said, but if you want to, so you put your little go over the stick, pull through, pull it tight, done. How do I do the purple? Do you want to try one? Oh, okay, could you put okay. it on top of this? Okay, so pull it through, that's it. Yes. Over. Grab it through. Yes. And pull. Pull the end through. Oh, good job. Well, it's done a tight thing. What you can. That reminded me. Another one you can do if you hold the end of the stick for me. Once you've done that, if you get the two. Oh, and ends, do it again. We'll just do a little knot. Yeah. And that might stop it from falling off. It depends what ribbon you've got. Some ribbons don't need it, some ribbons do. Good. So maybe we just do it all anyway. How about this one? We'll need some scissors because we don't want it too long. Have a look at it here. Wherever you like. Just have to be my long. This looks like really magical, so we, we might do two of these. All right. Sure. All right, we'll do maybe just one more for now. Uh, just. Do you want to tie a knot in that pink one? I think it's okay. That's okay? Alright, so as simple as that, we now have a fairy wand. And now this is another wonderful thing. Maybe you could make one for yourself. Maybe you could make one and give to somebody else yeah. as well. That's what we love about it. Uh, yeah, and I gave one of my necklaces to my friend called Ava. You did. And, that might and be... she really loved it when she saw the other video. She really loved it. When we had a meeting, she showed us everybody. So did I, she? But I felt like... <laughs> and how did that make you feel like, when she showed you somebody else? Embarrassed, but like happy, like, oh, thank you. Yeah, and that's I think that's what's really nice about yeah. doing this craft. You do it together with someone that you love, but you can also do it for something wonderful and giving it as a gift yeah. to somebody else. Even, you could make a really big one as big as you want. You could fill the whole one up with ribbon. You <laughs> so could. So then you have like, and then it could become a decoration. The bigger the stick is, the longer the ribbon is. Yeah. You could have like a decoration going all the way there. Yeah, and then so this one, again, we've just got a bit painted stick. Yeah, and, and, here. and we could also do another one. Yeah, so we've got some nature paintbrushes, 
Some fairy ones. And they're so simple. Well, and they're both simple to make, sorry. Simple to make out of a stick. Mm -hmm. So, again, if you've got, um, if you're doing this with your friend or a family or anybody, we would love to see your pictures, wouldn't we? Show us what you make, show us how you did it. If there's Where something. Where you did it. Yeah, and if you did something what different. You did you use this stuff? What did you find? What was the equipment you used? You might have used something different. Yeah, we would love to see we that. We would love to see, like, how did you make it? And we will have a guess and comment back if we think. Yeah. Next week, we will be making dream catches and... And wind catches. Yeah, and wind catches. So again, using some sticks and some things out in nature. Yeah. And um, you can pop them in your trees. We've had quite a few windy days this okay. week. That's why we're doing it kind of like inside. Yeah, we had to come inside today. Yeah, it's really windy. Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be free. That's what happens in Melbourne. You never know what days are going to get. So and we hope we you... What are doing today? We're going to um, post a... Put a post on our Facebook page so you so can keep an eye out for the post book. Facebook, I mean, the post book, Facebook, <laughs> the, post, the post on Facebook, the face. <laughs> and we'll have some information on there. So hopefully, you can join us next <coughs> Sunday. So, I'm Kim, I'm Claire, and we're, and we're from, from Wild, Wild Kindling. Kindling. See you next time. Bye.